A dictionary is a one-to-one -one mapping, and so you could have any kind of mapping in that sense. Let's say dictionary D, and then there's a mapping between keys and values. So you could have some mapping um, of, the, of the strings of text. Um, And it can be many different items in a dictionary. So you can have a bunch of, of those mappings. And if you want to print a value for a key, you can simply use the index and say the key. So the first elements are keys. And the second elements are the values that map to those keys. So if you were to print using the first element, it will show the second element. So by using the keys, you can get the values. Now, this is a very simple mapping and they are not in specific order. So if you want to go over the entire dictionary, you can do this trick for every key and every value in the items and then say print key and maybe also print the value. Now this should be in Python 3 so if you're using Python 2 it will throw an error. If you run it you'll see we have every key and every value in this dictionary. So you can also print it like this if you want. Print only the values or only the keys, really depending on your purpose. Anyway, this is a key value mapping. And sometimes this is um, used as a quick reference. So for example, you could map um, real names to phone numbers in a kind of phone app. You could do that. Or you can have many other uses of dictionaries. If you want to, to convert to list into a dictionary, that's also pretty easy. So let's say you have uh, some keys and you have some values. Then you can uh, define a dictionary by saying dictionary um, using zip of key and values. And then you'd want to print it. So if you now run it, make sure you don't make typos. If you run it, you'll see we converted two lists into a dictionary. So we created a mapping of every key to every value. You'll see it's in the same order of elements. So A is mapped to one, B is mapped to two, and so on.